four people in the U.S. dies from heart disease. It is the number one killer of both men and women, but it doesn't have to be. February is American Heart Month, the time to focus on prevention. Dr. Wayne Anderson is joining us this morning with ways to be proactive about our heart health and our health in general. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Nice to have you. We were just talking in the commercial, and you said it starts with taking control of your health. What does that mean? Well, the fundamentals, you know, how you move, how you sleep, how you handle stress, all those things are critical. And, you know, we're going to put up some facts about some things you can do, but you actually have to do them. But you're saying take control, so that means we have to think about it. We can't just go through life and then go to the doctor if something happens to us. We have to consciously make a decision about this. So, so critical. 45% of what we do during the day is on automatic. Their behaviors, their habits yeah. of disease. So my life is all about habits of health. It's about awakening people to the desire, knowing how important these little choices are. Whether you have a cheeseburger today or have a salad, mm -hmm. doesn't make any today but over time makes all the difference in the world that's such a good way to look yeah, at it it really is all right so where you brought up food there are superfoods things yeah. that are very yeah. good for us for our heart and otherwise yeah so the, the first thing is making sure you're not eating too much food okay you know you get you good foods are great and you can have blueberries which we're going to talk about as uh, cyanins which are really great for your health but if you're having a, a shake with 5,000 calories of it and a big shake with all that sugar, it's not good for you. So right. it's really important to get our portion controls down because obesity is linked directly. Second is inflammation. Inflammation is so important. So heart healthy foods like salmon, mm -hmm. uh, avocados, uh, kale. Kale's you know hot right That's, now, yeah, right? And those things are good, but you have to make sure that you're down to a healthy weight and you're doing all the things that are necessary, including how you sleep, how you move. They're all interconnected. Let's leave this, this up for a minute because the red wine is on there. And you know, everybody likes to talk about wine. They do. And yes, they I do. want that. Yes. Well, red wine, you know, if you don't drink, you shouldn't start drinking. Okay. I and mean, the studies are clear on that. But if you are, switching to red wine is good. There's 400 phenolic compounds and one called resveratrol, which has actually been shown in some studies like the French Paradox, to actually help us live longer in a healthier state because it's got inflammation, uh, anti-inflammation characteristics to it. All right, so let's talk about some steps to prevent heart disease in addition to the way you eat. What are those? Okay. Well, it's with moving. You know, for every you know, hour you're at a computer uh, or sitting watching TV, 22 minutes off of your life for every wow. hour. So that's that's eye-opening. That's why I'm glad you guys stand up a lot. You we know? That's <laughs> no, we do. I feel like I should get yeah. it right now. So that's important. And it's also moving throughout your day. Three, day. three days a week of one hour of exercise isn't enough. Okay. You really need to be active. Every hour, just spend a couple of moments. What I do is when I'm writing some of my books, mm -hmm. I'll make sure every hour I get up and spend 10 minutes doing something different. That's why the Fitbits and those kind of monitors are good now. They're good. It, it encourages people. Yeah, they're good. It, uh, they can help you say what you're... It's like a journal, right? Yeah. It's, like a, yeah. it's like a digital journal, which is great. The other is sleep. You and I were we're talking about that you guys have to get up early early in the morning but sleep is so critical having 78 hours of sleep and a study just came out that more than eight hours is actually bad for you well and this we're gonna have to end it there and that's a bad note for us because I was saying to you it's so hard on this ship to, to get that so I feel like we're yeah no <laughs> we're, Wait, but we're you, have to take, you have here. to take control okay. it's a critical part you have a young child mm -hmm. you want to be there for him so you have to say I need to make the immediate things not just the long-term gain. So match it up. So what you do on a day-to-day -day basis has immediate gain. So if you sleep better, you're going to do better on your show. All right. There we have it. Thank you so much. Great. Good My to pleasure. talk with you. Okay. Coming